components of a mixture. The substances which make up a mixture are called its components. For examples, tea, granules, sugar, milk and water are the components of tea. Sand, clay, pebbles, wood and rotting plants and animals are components of soil. Need for separating the components of a mixture. The components of a mixture are separated for the following reasons. To obtain two different but useful components of a mixture. For example, butter is a useful component which is separated from milk by churning. To remove harmful components or impurities of a mixture. For example, small pieces of stones and husk are separated from rice or dal before cooking. To remove useless components of a mixture. For example, tea granules are separated from tea. Methods of separation To separate components of a mixture, we make use of properties of the components. We cannot separate components of different mixtures using the same method. Different methods of separating components of a mixture are hand picking, threshing, winnowing, sieving, sedimentation and decantation, filtration and evaporation. Hand picking The method of separating a mixture into its components by hand is called hand picking. The method of hand picking can be used to separate only those mixtures in which the components are mixed in small quantities or they can be easily picked by hand or they have different sizes, shapes or colors. For example, stones and husk are separated from rice by hand picking. Threshing the process used to separate grains from stock is called threshing. Threshing is carried out in different ways as follows. The stalks are threshed on a wooden board manually. Bullocks are made to walk on the harvested crop to separate the grains. Threshers are also used. Winnowing To separate husk from grains is called winnowing. Winnowing is carried out manually using winnowing basket or mechanically using a winnowing machine. Sieving Sieving is a method of separating a mixture of various sized particles by passing them through a sieve of suitable pores. We can use the method of sieving only if the components of a mixture are of different sizes. For example, Bran and some other impurities present in the flour are separated using a sieve. Pebbles are separated from sand using a sieve of larger pores at a construction site.